Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome back to Catalon's Automation Beginners Tutorial. This is our lesson 18 where I'm going to teach you some of the concepts how can we handle the pop-up alert dialog boxes while automating your system under test. So I have already published total 17 lessons covering different concepts, all basic concepts of Catalon automation, including web UI automation and then mobile automation. So I would recommend you guys to please visit my previous videos so that it helps you to understand better this particular session. Stay tuned. Please do subscribe to the channel. Click on bell icon. You will receive notifications whenever I publish more videos. Thank you. Okay, so in this session, I'm going to teach you how can we handle different types of pop-up alert dialog boxes when you are automating your system under test application. Okay, so I'll take a simple alert pop-up box which will have OK button or you might get some other pop-up messages like confirm pop-up dialog boxes like you need to confirm whether it is okay or cancel, right? You need to either accept or dismiss, right? So that kind of dialogue boxes, how can we handle them? And also, I'm going to teach you how can we handle the prompt pop-up dialogue boxes. Prompt means, let's say, um, as soon as uh, you enter, I mean, probably as soon as you perform some action, you will be getting a one dialogue box to enter your name, for example. So the dialog box is a window box, windows box, right? So you need to enter the name. So basically, how can we enter the name into that particular prompt dialog box? Okay, so I'm going to teach you. So all these are all different pop-up alert dialog boxes, which is not straightforward automation by using any automation tool. Okay, so you need to use some other inbuilt keywords or customized keywords to handle these kind of dialog boxes. Okay. And also I'm going to teach you how can you validate the alert text of a pop-up dialog box. That means let's say you are, you got a dialog box. You need to validate the title of that particular dialog box or you need to validate some text in the dialog box. Right. So how can we do that? So I'm going to teach you by using Catalan and also I'm going to teach you how can we alert the built-in keywords in Catalan. Basically, how can we use built-in alert keywords in Catalan. So that's what I'm going to teach you. Okay. So now without delay, let's jump onto the system and see how can we perform automation of all these different types of dialog boxes. Okay. Let's okay. So this is my Catalan. Okay. So before we start automating uh, the test cases pertaining to different dialog boxes. So let me show you what website that we are going to use. Okay. So there is a, uh, let me go to edge. Let me open the edge browser. And this is the link from where I'm going to test the pop-up dialog boxes. Okay. I'm going to drop this link in the description of my YouTube channel. Okay. So you can find this in the description. Here, if you go to this website, there are different types of alert boxes. The first alert box I explained you, a very simple alert box that we are going to test. To test this alert box, you just need to click on try it yourself. This will open a new window where you can click on try it. So as soon as you click on try it, see, there is a pop-up alert box with OK button. This is very simple popular pop-up alert box. Okay. So we are going to automate this pop-up message. And also if you go to the next pop-up alert box, the next one is basically, so it's a confirmation box, right? So if you click on this, it's going to open a new window and then click on try it. So this opens the confirmation pop-up where user will have option to click on OK or cancel, right? So if you click on cancel, it's going to display, you pressed cancel. If you click, click on OK, it's going to show you, you pressed OK. Okay. 
and what is our third type of uh, uh, pop-up box it's a prompt box okay so as soon as you click on try it yourself it opens a new window and then click on try it okay here it is asking you to please enter your name so i can enter my name click on ok so this entry entering our name and clicking on ok we are going to handle while automating okay so these are the three different windows dialog boxes that we are going to handle in this in this particular session okay so let's see how can we handle them by using catalon okay let's go about go back to catalon and let me create a new folder my new folder is alert boxes okay alert boxes okay so once you create the new folder then you need to create a test case right so what is the test case so let me my first test case is new test case alert tc1 this is my first test case which is our simple alert box okay so where is our simple alert box okay let's create a test case okay it's created the new test case is created so let's go back to edge again and see our simple simple is this one right this is our simple alert box where you have option of ok okay so take this url copy this url okay so now go back to catalon and then let's start a recording okay record web i would like to record a web okay and here i'm going to provide the url that i have copied for the simple alert box okay now click on record okay let me take okay let me click on record okay as soon as you click on record it's gonna open the url okay it opened the url if you see it is recording the script open browser navigate to this url and then click on this button try it button and then as soon as i click on try it button and then even though if i click on this ok button right it's not gonna so let me do it again let me delete this step again see because it's a alert window this ok button is not gonna work because this is a pop-up window it's a pop-up alert window right so let me i mean some let me just delete all the steps that are actually by mistake it's got recorded so so what you observed opening the website click on try it that is where we are able to record but once the pop-up window opens whatever you perform the actions that is not getting recorded by using catalog right so we need to handle them in a different way not by using recording okay let's stop the recording and then save our script right click on save script it's going to ask you to save your objects okay i want to create a new folder alert objects okay and click ok and click ok done so now if you see a new folder alert objects all the objects are saved here okay let it be okay so this is our first test case but now what we did we clicked on so let's go back to this window again what we did we just clicked on try it but we have not handled this pop-up alert right how can we do that so after click on try it let's add another dialog box okay so if you go to sorry another step okay what is our step if you go to here under keywords under keywords browser left side panel right under built-in keywords web ui keyword there is alert if you expand alert there are different keywords that we can use to handle alert boxes or dialog boxes so i want to basically verify alert present or not first okay let's drag and drop here so what i am doing verify alert present or not okay let's 
put the value as two seconds okay first as soon as i click on try it i'm going to verify this alert box present or not and then what i'm going to do i'm going to add another one accept the alert so either i can basically define the step from here or as i explained you earlier you can directly drag this accept the alert here okay there are two ways two ways you can do okay let's delete the duplicate ones okay as soon as i verify the alert present i'm accepting the alert what means it's going to click on okay okay and then let me add another one step for delay because you you need to understand whether we clicked on okay or not right so let's okay so and then close the browser okay so that means i'm handling the alert box first i'm verifying whether the alert present or not if it presents i'm instructing catalan to accept the alert right and then i'm inserted i have inserted a delay and close browser okay so now let's execute this particular test case let's execute i want to execute this in probably edge okay edge chromium whatever the browser you want to use you can use okay so it is running so let's expand our log viewer to see what's happening okay so it's going to open edge chromium driver right it opened and then click on try try it yes click on okay and then delay and done okay first of all first of all let me do one thing let me here let me add another step to maximize the window okay let me maximize the window okay let me maximize the window so let's do one thing let me put one second okay and now let's run the script again and see what happens okay okay so it's opening the browser okay try it click on try it verify the alert and then click on okay that's it so if you see here it's verified the alert presents and then it accepted alert accepted correct and then close the browser okay this is our simple dialog box let's see what is our next dialog box our next dialog box is the confirmation dialog box right so where you will be trying it or you, either you can click on okay or cancel okay let's validate this okay copy this url now let's go to catalan and create a new test case new test case alert test case 2 right and then let's record the session okay let's click on record web and then provide the new url that just now we copied and then click on record okay as soon as you click on record it's going to open the window and here as i explained you it records until try it but it will not record the pop up messages right click on try okay sorry it's somehow it's not opening the pop up message let's do one thing yeah try it yeah and then i click on okay but still if you see it only recording try it but not okay right let's close the browser and then stop recording and then save the script so it's going to ask you so i'm going to select the same alert objects only okay the previous one okay click okay so done so now what i'm going to do here again this is our second one now we need to handle the alert box right 
So how we clicked on try it, try it. Let's go here. Let's go back to that object here. You clicked on try it, but now you need to click on OK, right? Or cancel. Okay. We are going to do both the things. Okay. Let's do. Let's use our built-in option again. First, verify the alert present or not. Okay. Before that, let's add keyword. Okay. Let's add the keyword. Let's add a step, new step. Add a step. Instead of here, verify alert present. Okay. Verify alert present. And then add one more step. Add one more step. First, I'm going to validate accept alert. Okay. I'm going to accept the alert. And then I'm going to insert a delay to validate whether you click on OK. If you click on OK, it should say you pressed on OK, right? I want to validate. I'm going to delay for two seconds or three seconds. I'm going to delay for three seconds to see whether Catalan clicked on OK or not. Okay. And then close the browser. Correct. Let's do one thing. Okay. Let's add another step. Maximize window. Right. And then let's again run this. Okay. Let's run this. Edge Chromium. Okay. So now it should open your Edge browser. And then go to the URL and then maximize click on try it and then click on ok see if you see it clicked on ok button that means it handle the ok now let's say instead of accept adult ad alert sorry i want to dismiss the alert okay basically i want to click on cancel how you need to use the keyword called dismiss the alert dismiss alert okay it's going to dismiss the alert that means it's going to click on cancel Let's see how it's going to handle. Run on edge. Okay, so it's opening the edge browser. And then this time it should click on cancel instead of OK. Right? So it's, it's maximize the browser try and cancel if you see here you clicked on cancel that means it dismissed the pop-up message successfully okay and let's so that is another one and let's create another test case which is related to confirmation oh sorry not the confirmation it's a uh, prompt message basically you a dialogue will be prompted to enter your name once you enter click on okay okay and then immediately whatever the name you entered in the edit box that should should display okay let's automate this okay how so this is my url okay let's go to catalan and click on right click and then create a new test case alert TC3. Okay. And here again, let's record the web. Paste it here. Let's let's record by using Edge Chromium this time. Okay. Edge Chromium. As soon as you click on record Edge Chromium, it opens the URL. Now let's click on try it and then enter the name even though you enter the name so let's expand this okay entering name see nothing is recording click on ok see whatever the actions that we performed in uh, the dialog box that are not recorded here okay done okay let's stop the recording okay and then save script I'm going to use same alert objects folder to save my locators. 
click OK. So done. So again here, so now first I need to verify. So as soon as I click on try it, I need to verify if the dialog box present or not. So not this one, this one, right? The dialog box present or not, okay? What is the step that we need to add? Verify alert present, right? Add the step after clicking on try it. Add verify alert present and then add here. This is a new step that we need to add. What is the new step? So let me show you here, okay? Go here. There is a step called set alert text. Set alert text, drag and drop here. Set alert, okay, let me delete this. Set alert text. What is the text that you want to set? I want to set a Ravikant as a alert text, okay? This alert text, I want to set it as Ravikant, okay? Ravikant. Here, this is the text. And then, and then, let's accept. Now, you need to accept the alert, right? As soon as you enter Ravikant, you need to accept it. You need to accept the alert, correct? So, let's do that now. Again, add. See, accept alert is by default it is coming. Okay, accept the alert. Done. And then close the browser. Before that, I want to add a delay here to see our text is accepted or not. Let's add a delay of three seconds. Click OK. Let's go here. Add maximize the window. So there are small compatibility issues uh, for that particular website. Okay, that's not a problem. Let's go here. Chromium, Edge Chromium. Now, so it should open the Edge Chrome. Sorry, Edge browser. Yes. Yeah, it opened and then it should maximize the window. Click on try it. Yes, it entered. See, if you see, it's clicked on try it and it entered Ravikant and it's printed Ravikant. Right? So done. Okay. What if I want to verify the text? Let me see. If I want to verify the text here, this text, dialog box text, how can I verify that? It's simple. Let's go back to Kedalon again. Let's do one thing. Verify the alert present. After verifying the alert present, I want to add one more step here. You have one built-in function called get alert text. Okay. Let's do that. Okay. Get alert text. And then I'm going to store this alert text to alert text variable alert text variable okay i'm going to store that into alert text variable so once i store alert text i want to print right let's go back to the script mode i want to go to script mode now i want to print that so this one i want to print ln print ln alert text is Okay, what is my alert text? My alert text is this. Copy. That is stored under variable called alert text. Right? So let's go back to manual script again. Mode. So I am printing the alert text. Okay. Let's make sure again. Yeah. Print ln. Save this. Let's bring this move up before verify the alert present. First, let me get the alert text and then and then print the alert text. Okay. Let's again run this in H Chromium.
Okay, so it's opening the edge. And then maximize the window. Click on try it. Okay, I think it's clicked on cancel. Okay, that's okay. Let's stop this. See if you see here, it got the alert, get the alert text successfully, right? What is the alert text? Please enter your name. This is the alert text and it's printed that alert text. If you go to console, if you go to console, if you see here, it actually captured the alert text. See, alert text is please enter your name. If you go to that alert text here, what is the alert text? Please enter your name. That means I'm able to capture the text that is present on the dialog box, right? So this is the way you can basically handle different types of dialog boxes, JavaScript related dialog boxes, right? Or any kind of alert boxes by using Catalan Studio, okay? So if you have any queries, please do comment, provide your comments in the comment box. I'll try to respond to your queries, okay? Hope you all understand how to handle the pop-up alert dialog boxes by using Catalan Studio automation tool. Please do subscribe to the channel, click on bell icon, you'll receive notifications whenever I publish more videos. Thank you.